All right, time to do our math. We'll be doing this page today, but first we'll read a story. It's called Dinner at the Panda Palace. Dinner at the Panda Palace. The Panda Palace opened at six one night. All the tables were ready. The room was just right. As the diners arrived, they were graciously greeted. Mr. Panda himself helped each one get seated. So let's see who's gonna come for dinner. An elephant came first with a trunk that was gray. He'd been on, out on the road selling peanuts all day. I'm enormously hungry. My bag weighs a ton. I would like to sit down. Do you have a table for one? So he's just one animal. So he's gonna sit right here where there's one chair. The lions came next. They were dropped off curbside. Welcome, your highnesses. How was your ride? Traffic was awful. The bumps were bad, too. We are so glad to be here. Is there a table for two? Look, one, two. Maybe it's that one. Along came some pigs who needed to hide. Quick, Mr. Panda, let us inside. There's a wolf on our trail. We must lose him, you see. We'll stay here for dinner. Do you have a table for three? Look at the three little pigs. House of straw, house of sticks, house of bricks. And the wolf's trying to eat them. A proud group of peacocks with feathers fanned wide was a most splendid sight for the others inside. With heads held up high, they walked through the door. Do we need reservations or can you seat four? And then one by one, the monkeys arrived. They went swinging across to their table for five. The giraffes had just painted the rooftops in town. If there's a table for six, we'd like to sit down. The hyenas walked in and laughed right out loud. They had never seen such a wonderful crowd. We've come from afar for our family meeting. There are seven of us. We do hope you have seating. Oh, it's getting crowded in the restaurant. A party of penguins came straight from a ball. They waddled in through the door, hats, jewels, and all. This is just the right place for our elegant date. Please, Mr. Panda, is there a table for eight? The Honey Bear All-Stars with gloves, balls, and bats had played a great game with the tiger-striped cats. We hit three home runs, so we're feeling just fine. Now it's time for a party. Is there room for nine? Here a chick, there a chick, where's mother hen? Oh, here she comes now for her table for 10. Oh my. The restaurant was humming, the waiters moved fast. Feeding 55 diners was no easy task. So all total, all those numbers equal 55. Then through all the noise came a knock at the door. A tiny mouse asked, is there room for one more? Mr. Panda looked left, Mr. Panda looked right. The tables, the tables were filled at the palace that night. Did he say, I'm sorry, we have a full house. We can't fit one more, not even a mouse. Did he say that? No, not Mr. Panda. He found one more seat. In no time, the mouse had a fine meal to eat. So if you're ever hungry and going that way, just see Mr. Panda. Here's what he'll say. No matter how many, no matter how, how few, there will always be room at the palace for you. All right, so today we're gonna work on this page. Now this page has a measuring tool on it called a balance scale. And it's kind of hard for me to show you a balance scale on the movie, but when we come to school, we'll do a little bit, um, some activities with the balance scale. So. On one side of the scale, you put an object, and then on the other side, you can put teddy bears or something else. And when the two buckets, when one side is heavier, the heavier side goes down, and then the lighter side goes up. But when they're even, when they weigh the same, they are balanced like this. 
Not like this or not like this, they're like this. So they're asking us, how many teddy bears does it take to balance out each object? So this is called a computer CD, or you might, mommy or daddy might have them at home in the stereo, or sometimes even in the car, or a DVD has one of these. So we're trying to figure out how many bears balance the CD. So then you just have to count the bears. One, two, three, four. Easy peasy. How many bears balance the cookie? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Easy peasy. How many bears balance the car? Ooh, there's a lot there. See if you can count them. Count them first and then I'll count them after. You count them right now. All right, let's check and see if you were right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you counted ten, you were right, a 10 is a one and a zero. And then on the back, you're just becoming a number writing expert. If you already are a number writing expert, it doesn't hurt to keep practicing. You can always get better. But if you're still trying to learn how to write some of the numbers and you still need practice, oops, then this is good for you and then you'll do them by yourself at the bottom, right? With a little space between them. You don't want them all crunched up. All right, press pause if you need to finish.